Welcome to Gaming on a Budget. Tonight we bring you Fairy Tale from Z-Man Games. Now, I'm the first to admit that as a general rule, I cannot stand light filler type games. They just, they drive me up the wall. I never have fun with them. I'm probably one of the only people on the planet who hates Love Letter with a fiery passion. But, Fairy Tale was a game that a very close friend of mine picked up and really, really wanted to give a try, so I figured, why not? The box says 30 minutes, I'll slog through it, you know, with a smile plastered to my face. Now, in its... Bleh, sorry. Fairy Tale is a pure, unadulterated card drafting game. All you do is pick a card from your hand each round, set it down in front of you, shift your hand to the next person in rotation, left or right, depending on the round, and then pick another from the hand just passed to you. Afterwards, you will have a hand of five cards, of which you will play down, one at a time, three of them. That's the entirety of the game. However, Fairy Tale actually surprised me quite a bit with the interplay that the game manages to have. After having played probably close to a dozen games, it, I've never seen myself picking the same strategy twice through anything but a quirk of fate. It hasn't struck me that there's any particular winning move to the game. So, uh, we're going to do another uh, actual, factual, for reals play of the game. Maybe get through the entire thing with how fast this plays. But first, let's take a look real quick at the cards so you kind of know what's going on. So, what we have here is, we have the basic point scoring cards, such as the Children of the Dragon, the Homesteader, and the Mischievous Fairy, each of which is worth a number of points equal to the amount of that card you have. So if, for example, I had two Children of the Dragon, each one is worth two points for a total of four. If I had three, each one would be worth three, so a total of nine. Three plus three plus three. Pretty simple. And I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but the little box at the bottom indicates that there are seven total in the deck and you won't go through the entire deck, so you probably won't see all seven, though you may very well. Then, we've got the basic combo cards, such as the Sky Dance Dragon and Dwarven Warrior. The Dwarven Warrior is worth asterisk times three points, with the asterisk being the amount of Sky Dance Dragons you have each of which is worth three points itself. So if I had one dwarf and one dragon, it would be three points for the dragon and three points for the dwarf. But for each additional dragon I added, not only is the dragon itself worth three points, but the dwarf is worth an increasing increment of points. So with two dragons, he would be two times three for six on him. So you can see how combos in this game can add up very quickly, point-wise. Then, we have the basic uh, flip one of your yellow cards when you play it, unflip one of your red cards, and everyone flip a card. Now, when a card is face down or flipped, it is worth nothing at the end of the game. It does not count as its own card type for things like the uh, Children of the Dragon here. It doesn't count as points, whether the points are positive or negative. It doesn't count as anything. It's basically not there for all intents and purposes. If, however, you manage to unflip the card before the end of the game, it will score as normal, whether good or bad. Then finally, we have the so-called expert cards, which really, if you're an experienced gamer, you can play with these right off the bat. They're nothing that's going to tax your brain too terribly. A treasury card where you get to draw two cards, so you would want to make this one of your first plays to give yourself more options for the other two that round. 
You've got uh, hunt cards. These are nasty if you do them right. If you play a hunt card and someone else has played a matching symbol card that round, their card just goes away. They've effectively lost that round entirely, which is just mean, 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 mean thing to do. There's the Egg of Chaos, which I just adore. It counts as pretty much everything. <laughs> it counts as a baby dragon, a mischievous fairy, a homesteader. counts as each of the four colors and each of the three symbols. It's a delightful little egg. We concluded there's three of them in the deck. This one, unfortunately, doesn't tell you. There's the Almighty keyword which means that for any card requesting another type of card, say a quest card that wants the gold dragon, you can count an almighty as that card. Then finally, the quest cards themselves. They will have a specific set, or they have specific criteria, such as score six points if most fairy wood cards, the red symbol. So at the end of the game, if you had the most red cards unflipped in play, you would score six points for this. If someone else has more, they don't score any points, but neither do you. So that's pretty much the gist of Fairy Tale right there. So we're going to go ahead and set up and show you a little bit of a playthrough, and hopefully you can get an idea of how this works. Just a real quick note. Uh, I misstated about Hunt. It doesn't actually destroy the other cards. They just come into play flipped instead of unflipped. Still pretty bad, but not as ridiculous as I had said. At any rate, let's get right down to it. My starting hand's an interesting one here. Very, very dragon heavy. But I happen to have drawn this happy fellow, who is one of a kind. There's only one of these in the deck. And it can be used with a particular quest to score a lot of points. So I'm definitely pulling him, passing my hand to the left. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is usually done simultaneously, but I ha have very yellow heavy. So I was going to go with this guy because really he's worth just straight up three points and he combos well and pass my cards. Focus. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hmm. Unflip any two, but nothing of mine's flipped yet, so I don't really need any of these unflip cards. I want to take him and hope I see quite a few more. Okay, well... Hmm. I guess I will take this guy. Uh, still don't really need the unflip, so I'll take one of the bards. It's one of the multiplying cards. And I'm... guess I'm gonna go for the Spirit of Spring. I don't need a flip card, but... That's, that's your choice. That's Ooh. your choice. I got this one back from my starting hand. Two reds and two yellows to score eight points. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna take that. Alright, um, I seem to be going red heavy, so I might as well go with this bard, because he plays with the elven warriors. Pass that last one. My final card. So, I get to play down three of these. I definitely want him, because of the rarity involved. And I'd really like to try him... So, I think I'll choose the Homesteader. I have good luck with these multiplied by themselves, guys. So, um, first thing we're going to do after we've picked our three is we're each going to set one face down. Uh, the play order can matter because of hunts and flips and things like that. So, I'm just going to start with this one. It's safe to get flipped. Okay, everybody ready? And reveal. Okay, oh, we've got a couple Knights of the Round Table and my crazy quest. So next up, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put... No, no, actually, he's so special. I'm going to do him first. So, next I'll put out my Homesteader. Okay, we've got a... Uh, oh, we've got a flip card. So it's basically going to come into play flipped because he had no other greens to flip. 
Alright, now our final cards. Okay. Here we go. And flip. And this is the gold dragon. No one played a black, though, so his hunt won't be doing anything. But he can be very cool later for me, hope. Okay. So we discard our remaining cards. Take and these. our friend over here played a silver dragon, which let him unflip the green card that he flipped. So all of his cards are unflipped. All right. Now this time we'll be passing in the opposite direction to the right. Yeah. Let me get my cards face up here. Ah, interesting. Score eight points if most face down cards. But I'm hoping not to have a lot of face down cards. Ooh, this one wants the Sword King. Who no one's played yet, so I'm going to gamble. I'm going to try it. Why don't I only have four? Thank you. Okay, I... I have played a bard, so I really want this Elven Warrior. This, the fairy tale wood chapter would be nice, but I really need the warrior. Hmm. Ooh, I already have the greens and I'm close on the yellows. I want those homesteaders, but I can't say no to that. That's just too good. Um, this guy would play off my dwarf. That's where that hand is going. Hmm. None of these really interest me that much, so I guess I'll take this guy because he could be decent points later. Same deal as him, just the green one. Very similar choice here with the mischievous fairy. No, I definitely don't want any of these. Just in case one of my greens gets flipped, I guess. Since I won't have to play all the cards. Now see, this is a hard choice. Do I go for the fairy that I want? Or do I take the homesteaders that I know he wants? I usually play with what? Well, I'm going to go with the homesteaders. Hmm? Alright, so. We're going to pick our play cards now. Um... See, I don't need an unflipper at the moment. I'm going to start with my fairy tale chapter. Okay. Okay. I'm not so sure I need these guys, but these are the ones I really want to play out. So we're going to start with this guy. Okay. Everybody flip. Oh, draw two cards. So he's going to have access to a larger hand to choose from for his next plays. Okay, uh, I guess I will put out my Knight's Tail. It's another quest I don't qualify for yet, but hopefully soon. I'm going to play my Sky Dance Dragon to play off and play with my Dwarven Warrior. Okay, alright, everybody flip. Ooh, go. Okay, what's this do? Let's take it's a look at this. this. Score eight points if most character cards. Oh, that's a cool one. So oh, he's wow. counting the head symbols, nice. which will be things These like guys. this here. Yeah, oh, I'm showing them up here. Okay. All right. So the next the last play. play. This one, I guess. All right. Ready? Yep. And I'm playing out my children of the dragon or baby dragon. I went with my mischievous fairy. We have. Another black quest over here. This Love. appears to be score seven points if most tail cards. Oh, so the book symbols. So he's really counting the symbols. And the rest are discarded. And look at that. I got another of the other symbol counter for the castle symbols, but I actually don't have any yet, so it doesn't seem like there's any point to playing that. Um... Geez, none of this really helps me too much. Well, let's see. How about... I will go ahead and take the... Uh, I'll just draft out this werewolf. I don't want anyone flipping yellow, so I'm going to set him aside. Pass my hand on. I have an interesting hand, and I want a lot of it. But I have to grab this Egg of Chaos. 
because it's honestly silly not to. It counts as three different cards. None of which you have. I do, actually. What? One is better than none. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, sword king, sword king, sword king, sword king, sword king. There's only one. Oh. I am flipping taking that. Well, you've seen this hand before. And... Hmm. I'm gonna grab this guy. <laughs> okay. He's over here laughing. Oh, this snap. is interesting. That's what. Slightly everything. cursed, possibly. Oh, snap. Um, yes. Well, I guess I choose the... Uh, what colors do I need? Uh, I need red. Okay, so I'll take the red one. Okay. Well, on mine, I'm going to take this guy, who I wasn't able to take in the last hand. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So the home cards one again, and the fairy ring one. Uh, yeah, I'll just take the ring, I think. Oh well, I have no choice in that one. I'm going to take this oh, green geez. dragon's layer and give our friend to the castle. I'm kind of I'm sensing a theme luck. here in the cards I have to choose from. Um, you're a little ahead. Am I? Oh, duh. No, you're no. not. You're not. You're <laughs> I didn't not. think so. Okay. Uh, this guy I'm absolutely unquestionably playing. This guy I really don't want played. So it looks like I'm playing two of these. Well, the upside to those cards while well, you have to flip things... They are good they points. Have six points. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, first card, everybody. I don't want to put him out first because I don't want him to get messed up. Actually, you know what? I'll try it now. He's just be a cool guy. Okay. Ready? First card Ready? for me. Oh, Ooh. and I neglected to mention took... that, unfortunately, Dragon chapter. Unfortunately, oh. the uh, the chaos egg is everything except gray, which my dude would have hunted. Oh, it is gray. No, is it gray? Not. Oh, it is. Oh, it's right. Okay, <gasps> flip that egg. Flip it now. Rude, you sir. Rude. Okay, so, gee, it makes a huge difference which one of these is next, so. Alright. Um, I guess we'll put him out next. Cool. Alright, so I'm putting this guy down, and I think I'm going to have him self-flip. Because he's worth more. Ooh, we had two of the three. Oh, snap. Show up in one hand. King of egg. All right, so last card, last card. Oh, last card. I'm just gonna go ahead and put down and self-flip another fairy ring. Oh. Ugh, I need I'm some other flips. I'm the elven warrior. So go ahead and do our discards, and then the final round. Final round! Oh my goodness, I really need to pull this together. Um, I'm not, oof. Okay. Uh, I definitely don't want to gamble on the Fairy Queen coming along here, so I'm not going to take... Ooh, unflip any two cards. You know, that's exactly what I need right now. So that's where I'm going. All right. Passing on. Okay. Well, I don't need this guy. This is one. Don't. And I'll pass these guys on. Okay. Well, I actually don't need the almighty tag right here. Nope. Oh, sorry. Because I uh, don't need the almighty, because I actually got my Sword King, amazingly. Uh, I'm definitely not winning most shadow cards. Oh, Baby Dragon. That's an easy one. I think I'm taking this one. The one where you each drop right. So, uh, definitely don't qualify for that. So, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, that's what I need. Another one of those. Um, don't have the dragon either, though, for the dwarf, so I'll just take it, just in case something good happens. I am going to take this guy. Because he's awesome. Mm. Mm. Flipping one red would make me sad, so I'm going to take him so no one else can play him. Oh, look at this. 
Uh, I guess I'll take this. And ended with having to take that. Okay, so my final selection here. See, I would really like to do this. He's good for me. This would self-flip and do nothing. This would flip one of my more valuable cards. And this, jeez, so I guess self-flipping and doing nothing is my best option. Ugh, I got pretty shafted on that last hand. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with this card. I'm going to start with this one. Ready? And flip. Aha, my dragon points are multiplying. Yay, and I get to draw two cards. Which are totally interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play my self-flipping fairy ring. Wow. Yay for life. I'm going to play another mischievous fairy. Okay, everybody set aside their card. Alright, last card. Alright, and I am going to unflip two of my fairy rings. And I'm going to add a third mischievous fairy. Okay, so that is an entire game of fairy tale right there. Uh, in the summary at the end, I'll let you know who won. I don't think you want to sit here and watch us count. <laughs> it might be a little boring. So uh, we'll be right back and let you know the results. Okay, first off, for those who are wondering, the final score was 51, 47, 40, with 51 going to the person who was unfortunately upside down to you the whole time. <laughs> But all of those quests and everything he scored ended up putting him pretty significantly ahead. So, uh, that's your end result there. Now, summary for Fairy Tale. Despite being a filler type game, this is a blast. I mean, it is absolutely terrific. It is a filler game I not only enjoy, but request now and again. I mean, it is so much fun it sets up nearly instantaneously i mean you shuffle the deck and hand out some cards it's a fantastic introduction to card drafting especially for people who've never done it before because they don't have to worry about anything other than just picking a card and i mean the artwork as you saw is absolutely gorgeous it's incredibly well put together tiny tiny little travel box here that holds Everything you can possibly need to play Fairy Tale. Cards and some more cards. See there? That is everything, and that's all you need. Now, uh, MSRP on this is somewhere around 20 bucks. Yeah, somewhere around 20 bucks. So it absolutely fantastically qualifies as a budget buy for how much enjoyment you can get out of this. It's a ton of fun. And with an art and theme style like this, you're not going to offend anyone pulling out this game. I mean, I, I play games with a wide variety of people, you know, from uh, Catholics to atheists to, you know, where you never know what. So it's always anyone nice. In yeah, anyone in between. So it's always nice to be able to say, I don't have to worry. I can pull this out. I don't have to think, is person X going to be bothered by it? That is not something you will see with Fairy Tale. So, all in all, this is a fantastic filler game to pick up. I mean, it plays in moments. You know, we were slowed down a bit by the constraints of filming, and you still saw an entire game because of how fast it went. It's absolutely wife-approved, yes? Yes. You, they can't see your thumb, sweetie. That's why I said yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, and it's... Absolutely terrific little game. Definitely, definitely highly recommended. But, you know, you saw the play for yourself. If it seems even remotely like something you'd like to try, go for it. It is cheap and it is delightful. So, until next time, have fun, play some more games, and get off the computer already.